Everything's set. We just need a bit of who you're changing into. Crab and Goyle. We also need to make sure that the real Crab and Goyle can't burst in on us while we're interrogating Malfoy. How? I've got it all worked out. I filled these with a simple sleeping draft. Simple, but powerful. Now, once they're asleep, hide them in the broomstick cupboard and pull out a few of their hairs. And put on their uniforms. Who's are you ripping out then? I've already got mine. Millicent Bulstrode. Slytherin. I got this off her robes. I'm going to go check on the Polyjuice potion. Make sure that Crab and Goyle find these. Ron, maybe, maybe I should do it. Yeah, right. Wingardium Leviosa. <gasps> cool. Mwah. How thick could you get? Come on, let's get them. We'll have exactly one hour before we change back into our cells. Add the hairs. Ugh. Essence of crab. Cheers. I think I'm gonna be sick. Me too. Harry? Ron. Bloody hell. We still sound like ourselves. You need to sound more like crab. Uh, bloody hell. Excellent. But where's Hermione? I... I don't think I'm going. You go on without me. Hermione, are you okay? Just go. You're wasting time. Come on. I think the Slytherin common room's this way. Okay. Excuse me. <gasps> what are you doing da... <clears throat> I mean, what are you doing down here? I happen to be a school prefect. You, on the other hand, have no business wandering the corridors at this time of night. What are your names again? Uh, I'm... Crab, Foyle, where have you two been? Picking out in the Great Hall all this time? Why are you wearing glasses? Uh, um, reading. Reading? Mm -hmm. I didn't know you could read. And what are you doing down here, Weasley? Mind your attitude, Malfoy. Well, sit down. You'd never know the Wheezies were pure bloods, the way they behave. They're an embarrassment to the wizarding world, all of them. What's wrong with you, Crab? <clears throat> Stomachache. You know, I'm surprised that the Daily Prophet hasn't done a report on all these attacks. I suppose Dumbledore is trying to hush it all up. Father always said that Dumbledore was the worst thing that ever happened to this place. You're wrong! What? You think there's someone here who's worse than Dumbledore? Well, do you? Harry Potter. Good one, Goyle. You're absolutely right. Saint Potter. And people actually think that he's the heir of Slytherin? But then you must have some idea who's behind it all. Well, you know I don't, Goyle. I told you yesterday. How many times do I have to tell you? Is this yours? But my father did say this. It's been 50 years since the chamber was opened. He wouldn't tell me who opened it, only that they were expelled. The last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood died. So it's only a matter of time before one of them is killed this time. As for me, I hope it's Granger. What's the matter with you two? You're acting very odd. It's his stomachache. Calm down. Scar. <sighs> hey, where are you going? That was close. Hermione, come out. We've got loads to tell you. Go away. <gasps> Wait till you see. It's awful. <laughs> Hermione, uh, are you OK? Do you remember me telling you that the Apologies potion was only for human transformations? It was cat hair I plucked off Millicent Bulstrobe's robes. Look at my face. <laughs> Look at your tail. 